Hey guys, it's Nate here. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a screen used hero knife from the 1997 horror film sequel Scream 2. All right guys, so without further ado, here is the screen used hero knife from Scream 2. This is one of the main metal hero knives that was used in the film. This knife came directly from the film's property master, Skip Crank. And this is a custom made knife. Um, in the original Scream, the ghost face knife is a buck 120. In the original Scream, the hero knives were made from an actual buck 120 knife. <clears throat> that the uh, prop department just dulled the blade and kind of rounded off the tip so it wasn't as pointy and dangerous. And that's what they use as the hero knife. For Screen 2, they actually made their own hero knives. And what they did was they cast an actual Buck 120. Um, and with that mold, they produced these hero knives, which are made out of solid aluminum. Um, so... Everything about the knife is aluminum. The blade, the handle, the whole, it's a solid piece of aluminum. Um, and that's what makes it super shiny and also what makes it so lightweight. Um, you can see on the other side here, <clears throat> a little bit of history for this knife. Oh, there we go. So it says, for skip the best. Wes Craven. So Wes Craven, the master himself, signed this knife to the property master Skip after production wrapped. Um, this was one of the relics from the film that Skip held on to. Um, very nice piece of history here. So here it is, guys. Get you some close-ups. So this knife is, you know, going on 25 years old. It's about 24 years old now. Um, it does have damage to it from filming and just probably just from sheer age. I got this knife back in 2011, I want to say, 2011. Sounds about right. Um, so like I said, the Hero Knives from Scream 2 were custom. Um, they made a mold of an actual Buck 120 and then they cast them in aluminum for the hero knives which gave them <clears throat> made them super shiny um obviously it's not as shiny as it would have been when they filmed let me see if i can yeah it's just uh you know there's very unique like the the length and depth of the blood groove on the screen two knife is very unique to that film um also the shape of this little nod nub here in conjunction with the handle is very uh it's very unique to the film um this according to skip is the knife the hero knife that was used more than any of the other hero knives it's the one that took the biggest of the beating and what they did as far as like the handles um because it's aluminum doesn't really hold paint that well so you can see there's a lot of like damage and nicks and dings in the handle um in the paint and i'm told that you know they were constantly having to repaint uh the handle during filming just to like touch it up and stuff so you can actually see spots on the handle that were repainted and then you can see like new damage over what they repaired or what they what they you know patched up with with more paint um, so this knife had a lot of use in the film, um, and the striping, what's interesting is it's not painted on, they use a type of black, it's almost like a paper tape, um, real thin like pinstripe tape, so this is actually tape around here and around here, and you can actually see that it is some of it you know, had fallen off at some point, whether during filming or after 
um, you know, skip kept it after the wrap of the film. I don't know. Um, this was how I received it. But you can see even the residue from the tape with that line there and where it would have connected. So here it is, Buck 120, Screen Used Hero from Screen 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more screen videos coming. Um, so, and some really good exclusive looks at some screen use props from the series. So stay tuned everybody, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.